A couple of the guys on the forums asked me what the weights of the subframes are between 1st gen, 2nd gen, SV1000, and 3rd gen. Um, unfortunately, somehow, in this entire mess of a shop, I don't have a single loose 2nd gen frame. So we're going to do 1st gen, SV1000, and 3rd gen. Now, because the 3rd gen doesn't have a subframe, we're also going to do 1st gen subframe steel second gen subframe and aluminum second gen subframe just to uh you know even it out because obviously you're comparing two different animals with this massive section and without so what we're gonna do part weight first gen 1k and third gen and uh without dragging this out any longer Let's go. Unfortunately, I only have my shipping scale, which goes in half pound increments, but we're going for ballpark anyway. All right. So, up first, appropriately, first gen frame, which weighs in at 31 pounds or 14.2 kilos. 14.2. Okay. 31.5 pounds now. Okay, 31.5 pounds on the first gen frame. On the subframe for the first gen, this is really not bad to muscle around. On the subframe for the first gen, it is steel, but it weighs in at a whopping 8 pounds, 3.6 kilos. So, 8 pounds for the first gen subframe. For the 1K, which I know the SV1000 has a heavier frame than a, than a second gen, because I've shipped a bunch of these, uh, and it's just bigger. But, let's see, hefty chonker, 33.5 pounds. 15.2 kilos. So 33.5, which is actually less than I thought, but yeah, hefty chonker. Well, let's do second gen steel subframe. Second gen steel subframe, this is 2003 specific, manages to weigh in at 10 pounds, 4.4 kilos. Uh, noticeably heavier than the first gen subframe. Second gen, you pig. Well, just my second gen, because everybody knows I'm all about the O3 stuff. And the absolute featherweight of a second gen aluminum subframe let me set it on there so that it's not okay 5.0 pounds 2.4 kilos awesome lightest of the bunch. I wish I had some like fancy aluminum ones kicking around, like the race ones, but they're going to be lighter than five pounds. And now for our final feat of strength of the day, and this is a little bit of a feat of strength. Oh, oh, oh my God, I hate you. Oof. And how do I balance it on a scale so that it doesn't press on anything? It's very tail heavy. It keeps wanting to tip over towards the tail. 48.5 pounds. 22.0 kilos. 48.5. So 
So, let's review what we've learned. We've learned that, well, it was kind of expected. The first gen is the lightest frame out of these three. I suspect the second gen is going to be either right in between or just a hair under the first gen and the 1K. So, first gen, 31.5 pounds frame, 8 pounds subframe, 40... What? Hold it up. Math is hard, guys. 39.5 pounds combined. Uh, 1K with the aluminum subframe uh, would be 38.5 pounds. And yes, I know, I always shit on the Imperial system or a standard system or whatever, but um, the scale makes more sense in pounds and whatever. Anyway, it doesn't matter. With the steel subframe, 43.5 pounds and the third gen 48.5 no change whatsoever so what we learned today is even the SV1000's pig ass frame is barely heavier than the first gen frame and with the aluminum subframe it's really low 38.5, 10 pounds lighter than just the third gen steel frame. Um, you know, 10 pounds is actually, I expected the difference uh, to be greater between all these guys, but uh, 10 pounds in just these parts is already kind of significant. So, hope you guys learned something. And of course, the second I hit stop, I realized the inevitable question was going to come, what do the swing arms weigh? And I, while I don't have the longer second gen swing arm, it's not going to be a huge difference. But let's just roll through these real quick too. First gen frame, uh, swing arm, 11 pounds, 4.8 kilos, 5.0, 4.8, right. can you decide? Alright, so we're just going to call it 11 pounds. Second gen swing arm, probably the lightest of the bunch. 10 point, same 11.0, same 4.8, 5.0, 11.0. Okay, so this has spools. I don't think they add anything significant in weight. but. Basically the same 11 pounds as the first gen. And let me zero this out. What? My scale has decided to die. Okay, turn on again. All right, let's talk pounds. SV1000. Uh, I don't think there's any actual difference between like 03 and not 03. Uh, other than the like placement of the mount points. So we'll just go with this one because it was close. 12.5, 5.8 kilograms. 12.5, let me write these down before I forget. So another 11, another 12.5, and oh boy, this is going to be a good one. 15 pounds, 15.5 pounds, 7.0 kilograms. Obviously, there's this scale only goes in half pound increments, so this is not the most accurate measurement, but 15.5, give or take. Um, 3G, 15.5. Let's go back to doing math, because math is hard. Also, Life is hard in general, but life is harder when you're stupid. So, first gen, 39.5 and 11, giving us a nice 50.5 for the weight. Uh, second gen, we don't know the total, but it's probably going to be somewhere between 1K and first gen. 3G, uh, skip that for now. 
SV1000, 12.5, 38.5, 50.5, 5. wait, like I said, 12.5 plus 38.5 and 12.5 plus 43.5. So 50 plus 551. Yeah, this is some common core bullshit that I'm doing. I don't I don't apparently math good. But anyway, so 51 pounds with the aluminum subframe and swing arm and uh 55.5 hefty chunk with the uh, steel subframe and aluminum swing arm. Now let's go third gen 48.5 and 15. So we have 63.5 pounds combined. Uh, if you notice something, it was 10 pounds heavier than the SV-1000 before the swing arms. After the swing arms, well, then the light SV-1000 and 5 pounds uh, heavier than the heavy SV-1000. After the swing arm, we, got, we went to 63 versus... 51 or 63 versus 55 so did I math did I make a math error I don't think I did uh, yeah I did of course I made a math error watch me suffer as I do math all right 12.5 and 43.5 is 56 pounds so, 63 to 56, it's actually lighter. I don't understand. What am I comparing? Oh, I'm comparing apples and oranges. That's why it's confusing. All right, so 12 and a half pounds heavier than an SV-1000 with the light sub subframe. And... Uh, Seven and a half pounds heavier than an SV-1000 with the heavy subframe. Why do we care? I have no idea, honestly. It's just weight, but I, uh, I did want to make this so that everybody who was asking would know what the weights are. 